Hey guys, Jason here with RWB NetSec, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the ingress lock vulnerability within Metasploitable 2. So this exploit does not require you to use Metasploit in order to gain access. Uh, this is just one of the more, I guess, simpler vulnerabilities that Metasploitable contains. So all you need to do to compromise the machine is to telnet into the box. So first off, let's just do a quick overview. Um, what exactly is ingress lock? Um, its purpose was to lock parts of an ingress database. But if you don't have ingress running on your server, but you still have this port open, uh, you know, attackers found a way to set up a back door using this port. So when you connect to it, it gives you a root shell back out to your attacking machine. So like I said, the easiest way to exploit it is just to telnet into the machine. So let's take a look at that here. Um, from a terminal window, just type in telnet, then the IP address of your Metasploitable machine, and then port 1524, and hit enter. And you can see that we came back with root at Metasploitable. So if I do an ID here, we're, we're uh, set as root. And just do a quick uname tag A. And it shows Metasploitable. And then, of course, if we try the it, to read the shadow file, if I could type again. And there, that was successful. So you can see that the exploiting it this way was just that simple. Uh, by telnetting to port 1524, we get a root shell back, and then from there we would just continue enumerating the machine, uh, looking for any you know, you know files, uh, anything interesting that you could possibly use then to maybe compromise other machines on the network. And use this machine as a pivot point into those other systems. So one last thing that I wanted to talk about on this one is exactly how this exploit works on Metasploitable. <clears throat> So there is a file called inetd.conf, which is used to list the services that the inet daemon is going to launch. And it's going to be services like FTP, Telnet, Finger, and some of the other ones. What the attacker did is they, they uh, modified the inetd.conf file to include the backdoor shell script, so, or not not a script, but just a line in the file. So if you log into your Metasploitable machine, which I've got here, and then you just view the contents of the inetd, which is located under Etsy, it's going to be inetd.conf, hit enter, and this you see the last line of the file which starts with the, uh, the ingress lock uh, stream TCP wait that line is basically when you connect to that port it's sending a bash shell back out to you and it's set with the option of bash tech I which just means it's an interactive shell so if you're an administrator of a server and you happen to be looking through your files and see something like this in your config files. Of course, obviously, you're going to want to delete it out. And then at that point, you're going to have to start looking around at everything else because you'll know that somebody has compromised your uh, systems. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Um, as far as the exploit goes, there wasn't much to this one. It was just a simple backdoor that was placed in. And, of course, from the sysadmin side, um, the mitigation is going to be, of course, obviously, like I said, if you find this line in your file, you just delete the line. Uh, if you do make changes to the file, of course, restart the INETD service. And always verify when you're setting up servers, look at the services that are, are starting on that server. If it's not a service that's needed, then just go ahead and disable it because the, the fewer services you have running, that's fewer entry points that an attacker is going to have to try to get into your servers. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if it's your first time here, I would love if you subscribe to the channel and share it out with all of your friends. 
So my hope is to build a community where we can help each other learn and grow in security, especially if you're just getting into it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you all have an awesome day. See you guys.